In this lecture, you will learn about practical usage of cost center feature in Tally. So in the example, we have a transaction in which a company is paying rent of Rs. 85,000 and there is some extra information related to the transaction. So it says that out of the entire amount of rent, 40,000 was paid towards a certain branch and remaining was paid towards another branch. Now we are required to use cost center and record the above information. Alright, now let's proceed with tally and see how do we record this transaction using cost centers. Alright, so in the tally application, I have created a company called Alpha Sales Private Limited. It's a new company. And in order to use cost centers, we first need to enable cost centers options by pressing the F11 key and select the option accounting features and over here in the field maintain cost centers change this option to yes and also change the option maintain more than one payroll or cost category to yes and press ctrl a to save these settings so with this we have enabled using cost centers and cost categories in tally now as far as the transaction is concerned we are required to record our rent expense so we are required to create a ledger to record rent expense so we will uh, create a ledger called rent expense under indirect expenses and set the option cost centers are applicable to yes and save the ledger creation all right so we are done with uh, one part of the transaction now we are required to create cost centers so for our example there would be two cost centers which are the branches of the company one is at sarojini nagar and another is at high tech city so in order to create cost centers select the option accounts info then navigate to the option cost centers and press the enter key and select the option create and for the field category select the option primary cost category and provide the name of the cost center which is the branch name and save the cost center creation similarly create a cost center for the branch high tech city branch and save the cost center creation so with this we are ready with the required information now we can proceed with recording of entry so we will go to the accounting vouchers option and press the enter key since we are required to record rent expense we will use the payment voucher and we are making payment through cash so select the ledger cash over here for the field account and we are making payment towards rent for rupees 85,000 and press the enter key now as soon as you press the enter key you would be asked to specify the branch for which you have made rent expense so over here press the spacebar key and select the option primary cost category followed by selection of cost centers so towards sarojini nagar branch we paid rent for rupees 40000 and the remaining for the branch high tech city and press the enter key and save the entry by pressing ctrl a now if we go back and check the reports for cost centers by pressing the escape key and selecting the option display followed by selecting the option statements of accounts and select the option cost centers and select the option category summary so we can see over here for these two cost centers which are branches of an organization an expense of rupees 45,000 was incurred for the branch high tech city and 40,000 for Sarojini Nagar branch and on further pressing the enter key twice we can understand that this expense was made towards rent for the branch so in this way we can segregate the information between branches or divisions by using cost centers and if you have noticed when we select a cost center let me select the cost center high tech city branch and you can see at the bottom of the screen there is a graphical representation 
which indicates the level of expense which has incurred for the month of April now over here when I press alt C and over here if I specify another cost center you would be able to see the comparison values in the graph at the bottom of your screen and we can understand at what branch more expense has been incurred towards rent and if we would have recorded expense for other months then the graph for each month would be displayed over here so we can also understand that at what periods and at what branches the expenses are varying increasing or decreasing and it helps us to take the right decision so this was one example about how cost centers work